The president what, what is not is lying record? about anything when it, as it relates to what House Republicans are trying to do. It is baseless. It is a political stunt. And he has, it has not proven that the president has done anything wrong. That right there, the signature style of our press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, the words, the outfit, part of our meme team today. Let's welcome back our meme team panel this hour. Brendan Dilley, the meme lord himself, is with us. Matthew Foldy, Melanie Collette here. All right, so this was my favorite meme. I think I saw this week. It comes from Sophia Louise Del Quay. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But uh, my comment on this was two tools one of them actually works. I, I, you got the whole John Deere motif for Corrine Jean-Pierre. Um, great meme here, I thought, in my opinion. Uh, Melanie, what do you think about Corrine's look yesterday? Does it give off the John Deere vibes to you? I, I like the tool part, but believe it or not, I am not a big fan of, of personal attacks. I really like to stay with the substance, and I just think when we make fun of someone's outfit, it's the same way as, it's the same thing as saying, uh, you know, of saying something about her because she's black. I think we should stay on what comes out of her mouth and why that makes her a tool. I don't like making fun of her outfit. I also think that outfit's hideous, but I don't like doing that. <laughs> well, so, <laughs> so fair enough. And I don't, I, I personally avoid memes that, that, that do make attacks on things that people can't change, but you can change your clothes. So uh, that that's, that's true. why I, I let new, this one go. I let this one go. Yep. All right, all right. Let's get to your meme, Melanie. What did you pick for us this week? Uh, so I picked the meme that said, uh, instead of, <laughs> instead of actually, face, here we go, thank you. Uh, Daddy, what did you do during the erosion of the, our democracy? I shared some white hot memes with a small group of uh, like-minded friends. And the reason why that spoke to me, funny, but uh, another reason why it spoke to me is because that is exactly what people do and that does not move the ball forward. You should actually get involved and do some stuff. So that's why, while it was okay. funny, I also thought, very good point. I think it's funny when the memes in the comments section, when the haters pile on uh, and then they have to defend them. Uh, but yes, well, well, point well taken on that one. All right, uh, Matthew, what do you got for us in your meme this week? Uh, I picked a masterpiece from Midnight Mitch, uh, basically mocking our second gentleman for botching the entire story of Hanukkah, which ended last night. But it reminds me of what we're seeing going on, the abuse of Judaism by fake Jews who are less Jewish than a bacon triple cheeseburger calling for especially <laughs> leveraging Hanukkah to demand a uh, ceasefire uh, with Palestinian terrorists. Of course, as Doug Emhoff should know if he were a better Jew, the miracle of Hanukkah is that the fire did not cease. Now, for those of you who missed it, he uh, tweeted that it was the bad. story of Hanukkah was about how Jews hid in caves and used the fire to stay warm. Uh, which says to me that uh, he <laughs> skipped a lot of Jewish school and probably that he also doesn't have anyone Jewish working for him. So how do you do, my fellow Jews, yeah. was our vice president's husband this week. I'll throw in a side order of lobster mac and cheese to that equation as well, Matthew. All right, Brendan, Add some bacon. go to your meme here. Yes, with the bacon and the, and the cheeseburger as well. All right, Brendan, uh, you shared a video with us. Uh, we're going to play it. You can talk over it. There, there's some audio underneath. Uh, but talk to us about your memes, your style, and what you're trying to accomplish here with this. Well, uh, unlike you guys, I actually do a good, uh, love a good personal attack as well as uh, dunking on appearance and everything else, which is probably why my team has a half a billion plays this year. Uh, this one in particular though is artistic. It was done by Lauren Eve, and it was just a beautiful uh, a meme uh, accompanied by some piano um, with some footage from several different rallies, one of which was actually the Pickens rally. I actually, I might be in this meme if I remember correctly. And, uh, you know, we've got all different styles, whether it's irreverent and aggressive and offensive or whether it's something that's going to tug at your heartstrings. Uh, we're capable of messaging across the board, which is why our stuff goes viral. Yes, it's, it reminds me of that line from Mad Men where Don right Draper there. talks about right there, nostalgia, frame. pain <laughs> from an old pain from an old wound. A lot of people feeling that nostalgia for the Trump presidency. All right, we got to wrap it up there. But Brendan, great to have you with us. And I know a lot of your fans and your followers are tuning in. Great to have them with us as well. Melanie, we appreciate you. Matthew, great to see you as always. 